Hey, welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk a little bit about e-bike fat tires. And there's a look at the fat tire, the rear tire on my Lyric Graffiti. And there's the front tire. And what I want to talk about specifically is why I like fat tires on an e-bike and the reason why I am a fan of the fat tires is because of the stability that you get riding I mean when you ride with a fat tire e-bike you get a very stable ride that's why this bike I don't mind if I'm riding on the road having no rear suspension it's not that bad because of the fat tires um it does have front suspension but no rear suspension but of course you'd prefer to have full suspension but it's not that bad for uh, if you have a flat tire bike um if you don't have a rear suspension it's not the end of the world this uh, this bike as i've said many times rides very smooth with the fat tires but uh stability um so when you have uh um like let's say you have or you're riding fast let's say you're riding fast well I feel a lot more comfortable and safe riding a fat tire e-bike at 30 miles per hour let's, let, let's say as compared to riding with a two inch wheel or uh, two and a quarter inch wheel I like the four inch or even five inch would be good too um, the other thing is if you're riding in uh, I don't know how many out there ride in snow or ice I have ridden in snow and ice myself and um, we don't get a lot of that here in Oregon but um, it hasn't stopped me from going out and riding and uh, you just got to be careful ride slow ride careful and um, um, with the, again with the fat tires I think that makes it for um, a possible you know possibility of being able to ride in those conditions if I didn't have the fat tires I don't think I'd want to ride in snow or ice ice is very tricky um, so uh, it's probably not the best idea to ride at any time in ice but if you have to just ride slow and careful and uh, steady as she goes and you should be fine so uh, rain, I wanted to talk about rain. I was expecting this to be a rainy ride, but I'm surprised today. It's blustery, feels like we're in a wind tunnel today. Uh, very windy, but uh, no rain right now. The clouds are kind of scattered around, so I don't know what's going on here. We could get rain shortly, but as of right now, we do not have the rain. But I was gonna talk a little bit about the tires, uh, fat tires and having fenders for a rainy ride. And uh, this is why I like fenders. If you live in a place like Oregon where we get a lot of rain, I love the fenders and the fenders on this bike are metal. I like the metal fenders. They uh, are more uh, sturdy. They don't, uh, they're not flimsy and flop around or anything. They're pretty, pretty stable. Um, and uh, as you can see, quite a bit of dirt there on this one. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah i wanted to do a ride here and i was expecting it to be in the rain it's not raining but we're still going to go for a quick little tour around here so let me pop my camera back on and we'll do a little ride and talk a little bit more about fat tires on an e-bike maybe you've never ridden an e-bike with fat tires uh, you should give it a try. Um, I think you'll be impressed with uh, the ride it gives you. It makes the bike a little heavier, yes, but I am definitely a fan of fat tires on an e-bike. And these are 20 by 4 inch on the Lyric Graffiti. As we zoom out here, go for a ride. From day one, when I first started looking at uh, my first e-bike to buy, there was no doubt in my mind I wanted the fat tire e-bike right off the start. So that's that's what I went hunting for. 
a flat tire bike and uh, that's what I got my first bike if you didn't already know and I still have it is the Rad Rover 4 I haven't ridden it in a while I need to get a new back tire for it I've worn the tire down on it just the back tire and that's generally the one that you're gonna you're going to uh, wear out because all your weight you sitting on the bike is in the back and so that's the tire that's going to get the uh, the wear and tear so depending on what tire fat tire you put on your bike they can be a little bit pricey um, uh, depending on the quality of tire that you buy a lot of them seem to be in the uh, 50 to a hundred dollars I'd say and if you start getting above a hundred dollars you're starting to get into the uh, into the uh, better quality uh, even higher quality um, I know when I bought my e Huntsman uh, the time I bought those tires for the uh, Grizzly I had a hard time finding anybody that had them in stock they were sold out everywhere and this was uh, still during the uh, COVID so that might have something to do with it but uh, you know when everything was uh, there was a shortage of everything um, but I did find them eventually on Amazon and I ended up paying $115 per tire so I paid a little bit more than I know their own website was charging $100 or $99 and so I paid a little bit more to get them off Amazon that wind is very strong hopefully you're able to hear me fine with the uh, GoPro Um, you can buy the uh, Huntsman tires now even uh, through uh, their cycles they have them on their page and they have them at a very reasonable price of I believe $99 so a good deal right there you can let me know in the comments what you think of fat tires are they your uh, go-to uh, e-bike tire or which do you prefer? I'm a, I'm a flat tire uh, uh, guy all the way, and um, so that's my choice. Boy, that wind is so strong, I can feel it. Uh, the resistance is probably going to eat my battery in no time riding through that. I remember having a 10 speed back in, in my uh, youth as a 14 or 15 year old or, or a little before that even. And uh, thinking back now to those tires and how narrow they were. No wind, it's going with me on this direction. But if you got a comment on this video or any other videos, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. I do my best to get to all the comments. And uh, thank you very much to all the newcomers who have been subscribing lately to the channel. It's much appreciated. And for all of you uh, loyal viewers who have been with me for a long time, thank you very much for hanging with me. And uh, hopefully we've got some uh, cool things uh, coming up in the future here on the channel. So look forward to um, 
some some of that happening. I'm just gonna pull over here for a second. Let that lady go there. So flat tires are definitely 100% my choice. How about you? And that's gonna do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you wanna be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.